Welcome to the Methodology Institute's En Vivo video tutorial series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. This tutorial series offers an introduction to En Vivo which will help you getting started with using this software. When you open En Vivo, the En Vivo welcome screen will be displayed and you will see a list of the recent projects that you have saved. If this is your first time using the software, the list will only contain the volunteering project. This is a sample project and can help you become familiarized with Envivo before creating your own project. You can create a new project by clicking New Project. You will need to add a title for your project and you can also add a description. If you do not specify otherwise, the project will be saved in your documents. When you click OK, your project will be created and the navigation window will open automatically. The title of your project will appear on the top bar. In these tutorials, we will be working with a volunteering project. You can close the project you have just created using the File menu and selecting Close Project. This will take you back to the Welcome screen. By clicking on the volunteering project, you can open it and start working with it. En Vivo projects can be seen in three views. The navigation view on the left contains all your project items. Sources are the data of your research. Internals are your primary data, like interview transcriptions or field notes. Externals are proxy sources which you cannot import into Envivo directly, like web pages. Memos are notes that you create and can be linked to other project items. You can create new folders and save them under any of the pre-existing folders. You can do this by highlighting the folder, for example internals, and clicking New subfolder in this folder. The new folder dialog box will be displayed, asking you to give a name and a description for your folder. When you click OK, your new folder will appear in the internals folder. Apart from sources, the navigation view contains all the main functions of the software, like nodes, sets, queries and models. By clicking on any of these, they become visible in the navigation view. When you select the folder in the navigation view, the contents of the folder appear in the list view. When you double click on an item in the list view, the detail view of the contents of this item will appear below that list. Note that Envivo does not autosave. It will ask at regular intervals if you wish to save. However, Envivo has an undo function, but when you save changes, they cannot be undone.